Hi guys, so again, I've just been doing these random videos today because I'm downloading uh, quite a lot because, you know, it is, we are going through this time where um, the veil is thinner for us to receive messages. So um, when I was meditating um, just now, um, I was asking for what do people, you know, how can I help people? Um, what question do people have? And I was receiving, um, they want to know how to manifest a person into their life. I've been wanting to do um, a video about um, how I manifested a car. Um, and so this one we're going to go with, um, how to manifest um, a person in your life, okay? So maybe you sit there and you're thinking, um, I have a specific person in mind and I want to manifest them into um, my life, okay? I'll do that at the end of the video. I will tell you if you want to manifest a new soulmate and how do you manifest this new soulmate into your life if you've never met them. Okay, first of all, you'll hear people talk about being on the same vibration as them being very important because you may be attracting into your life um, relationships that don't work out or that, you know, bring up lessons for you to learn. Um, and most people want to point the finger elsewhere and say this person was like that and this was like that. If you start with yourself because... Um, let's be honest, we can't change other people, can we? You know, it's very hard to change yourself. Um, I've been going through stages where I'm changing myself and it is so hard. Um, even just changing small things about yourself. So how are you going to change another person that you can't even contact? Okay, so first, you know, if you are attracting um, certain kind of relationships that you don't want to be in or that don't last, Take a look at yourself first and what vibration you're on. Are you um, breaking out of a relationship and then quite sad and un not fully healed and then going into a next relationship? So you're attracting in people who are on the same vibration of you. I feel like the law of attraction, everybody went to the secret first. That was a good couple of years ago that came out. So, you know, it talks about being on the same vibration or oh, Abraham Hicks, yeah, you know, um, what, you know, you're putting out there, you'll attract back in and you may feel like I'm being a good person and I'm attracting in um, people who, you know, need healing. So maybe you need healing on some sort of a level. That's something that you can work on within you, getting your own vibration, like, the right point on who you want to attract in. So let's just say um, man or woman doesn't matter. You want to attract somebody who's kind. So, you know, um, are you on a kind vibration? You know, um, are you receiving? Are you, you know, open to receiving kindness as well as giving it? Um, you may want to attract somebody who's happy because, you know, who wants to be around a miserable person all the time? I mean, if you're trying to attract in a project, you may just fix them up for the next person, but it doesn't really work out for you. So, you know, we'll see the card like, you know, allow your heart to sing with joy. Um, so are you happy? Really get on that vibration and truly be happy. So find that happiness within yourself um, first if you want them loving Find that love for yourself first so that you're on this vibration of love. OK, so um, write down even what it is you want in a partner. So maybe you can see it, you know, visualizing things really does help. So you can write a list. This is what I want my man or my woman to be kind, generous, um, loyal, very important um you know um things like that so you can write down what it is for you what you want what matters to you in a relationship and really think about this this is like when i've said um in my preparing for abundance video um you know making a list 
And, you know, when the desire hits you, I want to be with somebody. I want a soulmate connection. So when that that's the desire, okay? So the follow through is, okay, I'm going to write it down on a piece of paper and I can actually visualize what I want to come into my life. So I want them to be good looking. I want them to be hardworking, um, but generous with their time because maybe you want somebody you can spend time with. Um, maybe you don't. You know, it's going to be unique to your situation. Um, when visualizing, a lot of us tend to put a face to that person. So maybe it is your ex or maybe you've seen somebody you want to be in a relationship with. And um, that's sending their messages and um, it, energy messages. It's it can sort of mess with their mind or it can even block progress, okay? So I don't suggest you adding a face to the person, uh, to, you know, the my man or my woman list. What I suggest is you getting yourself to that vibration, okay? So um, I think I read somewhere that Jim Carrey, um, used to put a million dollar check in his wallet when he was working toward his goal. Um, you know, something actual physical. And that's what I mean by writing down what it is you want. So it's like, okay, I got this constant reminder every day. Um, when I was trying to change and rebuild myself, I would put sticky notes all over of what I want to be like a confident woman, um, a business woman, um, successful woman, you know, and things like this. This is what I put down there and it helps with affirmations like I'm successful, I'm healthy. Um, depending on what it is for you, again, it will be unique to each person. So, yeah, write down what it is that you want. You can write as many or as little things as you want. OK, and I promise you the universe will respond to you following through after the desire. So you can then start visualizing um, or start preparing, as I call it, preparing for abundance. Like I said, I have a video out on that. So maybe you want somebody to get married to or somebody to live with. So you could do physical things like emptying a drawer for them. OK, so you're preparing for abundance. I like to look at it like that. It's just easier um, to explain. Um, so, yeah, you can clear out a drawer. You can do things in your own home that maybe nobody else sees. Um, so you can make you both a coffee, you know, um, just like really making space in your life for a person, a soulmate to come in, somebody that you want to share your life with here, okay? Um, again, I don't want you to visualize a person's face or an actual person um, because that can put blockages in the way. So if this is attracting in a brand new soulmate, like I said, I will get to attracting a specific person at the end, okay? Um, so, yeah, making space, okay? Um, I met a great person through my channel and we tried this thing together. Um, you know, we had a safe zone where we talked and we would, this was before I attracted in um, a specific person, what I will talk about at the end. Um, I would say, I'm going for a walk with this person, okay? I would say, I'm going for lunch with this person. So it's really putting out there, but you have to be in a vibration of positivity, happiness, love, all those positive vibrations, you really, really have to feel it within your soul. And one way I used to do this was, for me, music would really lift my spirit. And I heard somebody say or read on my channel, um, be careful who you let talk to your spirit. And it ain't no joke. You've got to really be careful on who you allow 
to talk to your spirit and get this advice from. Even you should be questioning me. Um, I would say do the research yourself. You know, I've done the research myself while I was doing these things, okay, while I was learning how to manifest. And like now, I am manifesting so much that I'm actually careless with it, like I mentioned about my phone, okay? Um, like, just putting it out there, oh, you know, I, I want a date and then I went out and people was asking me out and being careless with what I'm putting out there because your word is your want, okay? Trust me on this, what you put out there comes back. If you have any doubt or, you know, you're manifesting in lack, doubt, um, you know, unhappiness, then you won't see it coming immediately. When you're doing it in a positive vibration, you will see immediately how fast this comes into your life. I mean, I said that on my channel and then I went out to buy a phone and everywhere I went, my mum was like, my mum came with me. She was like, what is going on? Because people was coming up to me and like, hey, you want a day? Like, it was crazy that day. So be careful what you put out there, really do. This is why I say it's very important to make this list, okay? Especially if you are happy and you are ready and you are of that vibration that you're manifesting things in your life, you have that faith and belief. Really think about what it is that you want. You know, we have the card very soon that says, be clear on what it is you want, because even you could be in a positive vibration and you can still call in a lesson. So be clear with yourself. So you visualize it every day. You know, um, I remember like school boards, you know, where they would write things on. I rip mine on sticky notes and put it in my mirror. So every morning I seen this. OK, it was more about myself, though. Um, what I was trying to do in that scenario, but it, it's the follow through after the idea is born, the desire, desire is born, because that's your higher self, that's speaking to your higher self. So, or you might want to call it your subconscious, um, you know, what you, and maybe not in tune with every day if you're not sort of there yet, but yeah, really write it down and be clear on what it is you want. Think about it. You can look at the past. You can look at the present and look at where you want to go in your life. So maybe you, you know, are heading towards a certain business sort of ideas. And maybe you want somebody who can help you grow in that sort of place. But be very careful. That's why I want you to think about this, um, you know, manifesting a person into your life. Um, so, yeah, really write it down. Um, and you can, like I say, act these things out, but don't give, you know, this person a name or um, their image. OK, um, make a space, make a fund for, OK, when we live together, this is our fund for our new home because we're going to get a new home. Whatever it is for you, you can do that. OK, this is our wedding fund. I'm going to drop some change in there every day. If I just have some change in my pocket, this is our kids school fund. This is our retirement fund. I'm going to drop some change in there every day and really focus on it because a lot of people look at the law of attraction videos and be like, OK, so it says you have to visualize what you want. OK, I see what I want. It's going to come to me. And that's it. No, you have to follow through with the action. You have to take action. You have to prepare for this person or whatever it is you're manifesting to come into your life. Uh, so you don't want a broken person. So are you going to be a broken person? You know, are you going to heal? Are you going to get to the right vibration? And I, I really um, say, you know, look at yourself no, but we, we criticize ourselves the worst. So nobody can look at you and tell you um, what you would like fixing about yourself. You know better than anybody. People can only see the outside of you. And that is nothing. That is nothing to go on. It's your soul. So if you're working on healing your soul, 
um, this is where you want to be at, you know, like, I want to be a healed vibration, because I want a healed person, I want a healthy person, I say, I want a good looking person, whatever it is for you, this is just what you got to do, yeah, so, okay, so, we're not going to get away from the fact that people do want a Pacific person, or to attract a Pacific person, and that is completely fine. So when you're told in these law of attraction videos or manifesting videos, um, visualize what it is you want and it'll come to you. And you may have been doing this and it hasn't worked. Um, or you could have been doing this and it has worked. Um, again, it's getting your vibration right to match theirs. Maybe your vibration is higher than theirs. So you're waiting for their vibration to come up. Um, it's not necessarily that your vibration is lower. It might be that they don't meet you. I'm just saying, you know, maybe they're on something else. So um, how would you attract a Pacific person or a common one, get a text from a Pacific person, there's no contact and you want to, um, you know, manifest a text from a Pacific person. I'm going to tell you a really sad thing that I did. Um, well, it's not sad, it worked. Um, it was just to help me visualize. Um, I would set my own number in my phone and save it as their name. And this really does work, okay? Um, so that I could visualize their name popping down when I would um, receive a text. So I would text myself like, hi, or whatever I wanted the message to say from them, okay? Um, so I would text myself from this and it takes like a few minutes, a few seconds to come through. Um, but it will come through and it will pop down their name. And then what you need to do is, how would you feel getting a text from this specific person? So if at the moment you're quite heartbroken or quite sad and, you know, you are trying to um, get a text or meeting with this specific person, it won't work unless they're really sad as well, which I highly doubt. They could be out minding their own business. Um, so it doesn't mean at that moment that they're going to be on the same vibration. So you've got to really think about this. What vibration do I need to be on? What vibration are they on? And this isn't for everybody because maybe you have to lower your vibration. I'm just keeping it real with you guys. Um, if you want this to work, um, I've got to keep it real with you and I wouldn't suggest it, but it'll work. Okay. So yeah, you can send this text to yourself. So you actually get a visual of this. So it's a physical thing that you're seeing and getting, and it will, it will really put the energy out there for this person to text you, okay? So you can try this while listening to 432 Hertz um, to, you know, help you as well to um, tune into the energy. Um, but what I would suggest, I wouldn't think about memories with this person. I wouldn't think, remember the time I went to a coffee shop with them. I wouldn't picture us in the coffee shop and the conversation we had because that's past, that's, you know, a past energy. I would again visualize without the person's face or name, um, like in a made up visual in my head, I would do it without their face and I would, this is the real secrets, <laughs> this is the real, um, and I would picture myself in, um, why is the camera going funny, okay, um, I would picture myself in, on a beach with them, okay, um, I wouldn't be looking at them, I would just know they're there, 
and um, I manifested this being on a beach with them and I've manifest text messages from them and a conversation with them. But I will say as well that that wasn't the right thing for me. OK, overall, that wasn't the right thing for me. But people really want to know how to manifest this message. I've seen people ask for spells and all sorts of things. No, I'm not interested in all that. OK, I don't do all the I don't do those things. Um, but it kind of is sort of like a manipulation of your own energy field, which, like I said, will work. But it's up to you. I, I've i been there. I've been so sad and anxious to speak to them that I did that. I did that. But I'm not about that anymore. I will tell you that. So if you really want to do it, we have free will. Maybe it helps you get closure. Maybe it helps you to see that this isn't for you either. You know, because it's sort of like it'll bring them in in the same energy. OK, so you don't want them in the same energy. You want to raise your vibration and you want them to raise their vibration, even if it is a specific person. If it's a new person, go ahead, make your list, your Make this list full of pros only, um, you know, be really excited about it. Like, I'm going to meet this person soon. OK, I'm really going to meet this person soon and feel that energy. And like I said, I used music to really like help me and um, get me to that um, energy level. So I really raised my vibration and it brought in my twin flame in a different um, energy field. OK, um, so it really is a better way to manifest somebody into your life, guys. I hope this helped you. Good luck, guys. Bye.